We thank God for how far he has given us, beloved. We thank the mighty one so much. This is evangelism ministry set up to teach the word of God. Amen. And today we are coming to study one or two important subjects. One or one important subject which is very, 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 very causing many believers to fall into temptation. So at this time, we are going to start our program. And the topic today is avoid the wicked person. Avoid the wicked person. So let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you. We glorify your name. Lord, we give you all praise. We give you all the adoration. What you have done for us is very marvelous, and we cannot say it. We cannot, we cannot buy it with our money. It is through your mighty power that you have sustained. Even yesterday, we went to sleep, and we sleep and forth death. But you have what? Lord, you have risen to life this morning. We say that, thank you, Lord. Lord Master, as I stand before you, before you this morning to preach, Father, any evil then that is in me, take it away. Forgive me all my evil doers so that I can be perfect before your sight. Lord, your word is about to come. Feed me with your word so that at the end, your people will be blessed. This is all that I ask in the mighty name that I pray. Amen. Beloved, as we are finished uh, praying, we will go ahead to the subject. The topic is avoid the wicked person. And as I always do, I'll go by tree and the English, my local language and the English language. <coughs> and then, uh, at your chest, I'm a day brown, or you say your friend. Show who free a bonnet for in some, a bonnet for, a bonnet for in some. A nipper be bray, I am who say, Omo ye high buffo, bet Omo ye a sumasano, a mon pawasem, and I say, A mon pesa, a mono, a bean yankita, who did be a. No, 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 sin against your God. Where the evil people are, don't go closer to them. Associate yourself from this evil people. Even in our home, some people are with us who are trying to cause us to sin against our maker. And if you see one or two family members who are indeed trying to do that, please avoid them. 
and concentrate on your heart, on your God. Many people are doing that. You will have money for you in a free work room. So you will feel you can work on your own. You will feel you can work on your own. You will feel you can work on your own. You will feel you can work on your own. Aba on chain. Ne was a any was a nippan or wouldn't be as a so ye, but or person of fuck waste and means be aso, no edding. What they will cry no, a cock or say you, that can go for corner. You move through a moon. And no amo any any be be a ye, ever as I say so. You will feel a moon crying home. And David Carson be a war. Someone. What I say? Someone. Let me read the English Bible first. I say. He says, Blessed is the one who does not walk in the steps with the wicked, with the self with what? The wicked. Some people are so wicked. In our daily heart, in our daily life, they are so wicked, trying to do all cause of all, all manners to what bring you down. Avoid these people, or stand in the way that sinners take, or sit in the company of mockers. So these people, this is what they do. Anytime they see you, even they go ahead and mock all the preachers. Avoid these people. They go ahead and hold and mock the preachers. Omuti even nyami eh nyami ni pa for more than FL. I don't know how can or or say I don't mean to nyami adre. In case we be a nyami adre, and as we be a the nyako pan wo. Omo wa selecti wamo, a wadu omo ye ne de, ne juma. Odin se mpe biti se de me ken ye e de, e bre o. Inti se nyanko pon selecti sa a pes, e ni pa na wadu ne si de onu kwa, onu ne ne im. Odin ne si, onu nyanko pon na ne im. If God selected some somebody to lead congregation, that means that the person has been praised before God, and he is leading you. So anything that he will say, you don't have to mock that person. You don't have to. You have to take his word serious. And this is what some people are, are doing. Some people, this is what they are doing. They sit, some, you, have, you don't have to sit in the company of these people. Associate yourself from them. Even Jesus Christ, and he saw that these people are not his. He ran away from them and take the word to what? The nearby villages. Go and share the word to them. So in your, your family, in your home, if you are trying to do the work of God and the people are not what? In mind with you, you have to take the word to somewhere that they, they can, they, 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 you think that they would what? Accept the word of God and do it the will of all the God. So this is what David was was uh, uh, trying to advise us. Any people be bringing a bit to me at it and some are making us a bit. I will say I understand what the problem is, but this is common kind of thing. My 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 mama said, "I buy me the problem and buy." Jesus Christ. Oh. Um. Yasum drinking or buy it, but in papa, ain't Because I seven hour work and you are just independent befa. Oh, Jesus Christ teachings nowadays, but any penny be ever poor. You will be fat, will be jaw that one, a wedge and owner, a cheek, no baby be dinner cheek. Into that means then papa, no, they buy it. Oh, ain't he? Eh, other four. 
Na asamna da ho no se avoid the wicked person. Anybody who is trying to create you wicked, avoid that person. Avoid that person and concentrate on your God. Let God be your judge between that person. As uh, David said it in Psalm, or uh, David said it in uh, uh, First Samuel, First Samuel twenty-four. If you read down, you you get it. Let's see. He, he, he told Saul that Saul, let God judge between I and you if I have done you wrong thing. Let me go and see if I can find it quickly and read it for you. First Samuel 24. Mm. So we are trying to do our possible best to let you know the tricks of all, the evil person, the tricks, their tricks. They try to do everything to let you know that they love you, they do this, but in their mind, in their back door, they hate you. So try to avoid all these things. As soon as you see them, try to avoid it. So first Samuel 24, I am here. I am here and I'm finding the exact uh, phrase that I can find. let you go and read it. You say, let me read from verse 11. You say, see my father, Look at the, um, see, my father, look at this place, this piece of your robe in my hand. I cut off the corner of your robe and did not care you. See that there is nothing, there is what? Nothing. There is nothing in my, my hand to indicate that I am guilty of wrongdoing. I am guilty of what? Wrongdoing or rebellious. I have not wronged you. Some people, you don't, you, you did not wrong anybody. David, David did not wrong or Saul. But Saul was persecuting him to take his life. He heard the voice of what? People and start going after David and what? trying to take his life. But God be glory, this people, they, uh, God did not allow Saul or hand over David to God, Saul. Mm -hmm. So let's go. See that there is nothing in my hands to indicate that I am guilty. I am guilty of wrongdoing or rebellious. I have not wronged you, but you are hunting me down to take my life. May the Lord judge between you and me. Verse number 12. So this is the what the verse that I was looking for. Um, you see that. <coughs> Sorry. May the Lord judge between I and you what you have planned to do to me and what I, what is also what in me, the Lord should come intervene and judge between I and you. You were hunting me to what, take my soul. You were hunting me to cause me to trouble. But I am serving the living God. I will not what, hunt you. I will not pay you back, but the Lord's word come and dead between I and you. Avoid the wicked person. I'm very, very serious talking about this particular issue because it is happening a lot. 
it's very, very, it's very, very sad that some people that you think that they can help you, you, you can or you can help them, and they are out pursuing to take your life. They are pursuing your life. Avoid these people. He said that the Lord's word judge between I and what you between me, you and me. And may the Lord advance the, the wrong you have done to me. But my hands will not touch you. This is what David was what telling uh, Saul. So, This is what David was telling, so that after you have done all your plans, the Lord deliver you into my heart, my hands, this night, that I should what, take your life. And it is certainly that David could have killed Saul at that moment easily. But he went and stand beside him and said, no. What the Lord has what, anointed, has chosen him as my king. My hands will not what, touch him. This is what we 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 nowadays are doing. Some people you don't want your even your mouth to what, to speak against them. You don't want your mouth to speak against them. But anytime they open their mouth. Evil things come out. Avoid all those people. So let us see what uh, Moses also told uh, the Israelites in Exodus 23. Exodus 23. Moses told the Israelites something. Exodus 23, verse number 2. Um, Exodus 23, verse number 2. Exodus 23, verse number 2. Okay, I'm here. Mm. He said that, Do not follow the crowd in doing wrong. When you give testimony in the lawsuit, do not Private justice by siding with the crowd. Oh, so if you read our local dialect, it tells you something. He said we shouldn't what follow the crowd. Some people are following what the crowd, and always they are signing against what our Lord Jesus Christ. Some people are following what the. Uh, Others people are doing. That is why they are bringing it in their home. Some people are copying wrong things. Do not follow them because all of them are evil doers. In mind, there is nothing good is coming from them. Oh. There is nothing good is coming from these people. Now, so in Casa and some in Casa and some beam uncle uncle D in the Pado door etchy and Nane as some any phone in some be one more a bar not to say you are done it done it in some many nay I can't as Said the yeah 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 they you feel it. Do not do that. Do not you don't have to do that. In this any padu do it. No one can come here. Bonnie, eight years only can come. Um. Until you go. The same as the thirty four. Yeah. Exodus 34, verse 12, for us, right? Or can't say, do how much? Exodus 34, verse 12. 
be careful not to make a treaty, a treaty with those who live in the land where you are going, or they will they will be snore among you. Oh, and the whole of the answer key Bible no so don't so I can't thirty four, verse number twelve. Fear who ye na one dear what it as I say ah all a cause or no. Le cause or no. Or no. M. M. Like one in Conco yet, giddy giddy biala. Oh. Aha. Na. Wa money. Na wa. Wa men. Wa men. Na wa men dani. Wo mu. Fidi. Wa men dani wo mu fidi. Sorry. Um, any people on the they come before you and they are they they do some things like they are coming to what train you or they are coming to do good things to you, but in their mind they are setting trap before you. So he was warning the Israel that the place that you are going be very, very careful because some people have fought. Are in a dead that they are very, very certain up traps. Hmm. And today, this is what the Lord wants me to tell you that avoid these people. They are all very, very dangerous and they can take you to wherever you don't want or your, even your feet to go. They can do some things to you that you will never, never forget. So this is what the Lord is telling I and you. Paul also says something to uh, Corinthians. Paul says something to Corinthians. And if you go to Corinthians chapter, uh, number, chapter number 6. Corinthians chapter number 6. Uh, verse number 14. Corinthians chapter number 6, verse number 14. First Corinthians, sorry. Mm -hmm. First Corinthians chapter number 6, verse number 14. What is he saying? Mm. Sorry, Second Corinthians. I'm sorry. Let's go to Second Corinthians. Sorry, chapter six, verse number fourteen. Okay. Uh, warning against adulteries. Okay. He said, "Do not be yoked together with unbelievers." Some people, to they are not believers. Others, they are believers. They go to church, but still they practice this evil thing. But here, Paul was addressing to the unbelievers. And he said that we shouldn't yoke with them. In other Bible verses, he will tell you, do not associate. Do not go, avoid these people. Because do not associate with them. Let me see King James verse in what it will say. So that we get the clear understanding of some people are reading King James verse and if you read NIV, uh, although the, it's the same thing that Paul is saying, but you get confused. So, as I'm trying to combine all these things, so that you get the clear meaning. You see that, let, let me finish reading this one. Second Corinthians, Second Corinthians 6, 14. Uh, okay. Hmm. Second Corinthians. Okay, it says 14. Where is it? This is King James Version. 
It's very difficult for you to open. Okay. Let me read from verse number 14. It will tell you that do not be unequal. Even here, he used unequal. <laughs> he used unequal. Do not be unequal. Unequally yoked together with unbelievers. For what fellowship has righteous with lordness? So, you need to say, 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 you need to is between you and them. So you shouldn't be what? Have any fellowship with them. Avoid this people and concentrate on your heart, your God. That is the most important. The most important is what? Concentrate how you can get your heart, your life, go to your eternal life. If you try to follow all these people on this earth, always you will sin against your, your God because what some people will say or will do to you, it will lead you to also say something that the Lord will not be pleased with you. Our God will not be pleased with you. So you have to try to avoid these people. These foolish conversations and everything, try to avoid all of them from your way and get what? The word of God with you. Even if your father and your mothers are trying to cause you to do something, or they are always trying to bring issues that what? Would disturb the peace of mind we get, you, you have gotten in what? Christ, try to avoid them. I know some people will understand. It is not the wish that you try to avoid your pain, but what they are doing to you and it doesn't please you, stay away from them. That is why some people, somebody cannot go far, far away and stay away from God. They are failing because the way they are doing to her or him is not the way that he wants his life. So you must to do that to prevent what peace and focus on your heart, your God. So let's see also something in Ezra chapter chapter thirty four. 33. We went there and we just came back to Corinthians. So let's go back to uh, Ezra chapter 34, verse number. Uh, oh, sorry, Ezra 23, verse number 33. 23, 33. Exodus 23. Okay, verse number 33 is here. Okay. I got it here. Mm -hmm. He said that do not let them live, live in your land or they will cause you to sin against me. The Lord is speaking here. They will cause you to sin against me. Do not let them live even close to your, your heart, your environment. Do not let them live uh, <coughs> close to you. Otherwise, these people are going to what? Cause you to what? To sin your heart, your God. 
because they worship the worship of their God will certainly be a scorn to you. It be you fidie. Oh, um, and that the way people are worshiping as soon as you be brave fidie. Oh, um, and you probably brave are falling into the trap of this worship because nowadays people don't visit the fetish priests. They don't go to them. So all the fetish priests are hot, turning to God, pastors. And the way they worship, it gets attraction of what? Many people. It gets attraction of many people to go and serve. They think that they are serving the living God, but you are serving what? A fetish priest. He said, I do not let them what? Come to your land. Oh. Do not let them live, even live, live what? In your land. Or they would cause, they will cause you to sin against me because the worship, the worship. Oh. And now for Ghana, a booby bray. The way people are worshiping, what you who crumpa on Tiasia. And near my own way, you know, what you who crumpa on Tiasia. To Atiasia. Jesus Christ come by a communion, yes, I know, yen, nay, 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 ma. Better ne, and go full moon na, eh, ye be. They are getting the attraction, the attention of what? Many people to go and worship them. The worship of their gods, is an, you can underline it. Their gods. And no more the Abba or Sumimu. Oh, and no, the Omidia be breakfast or Sumimu. And then you will be in Fama say, or what I just sumai and our boss Bosumbi. No, the best shenet nay yase. No, or my country. And then you be brave so I drink what I But you still go to them. When you are the man in your papa, oh, and to me, be a man for good oil. So, near the way the petty, you fear any young crown or buy it down where you be behind the bomb pie, bet and free a radiant young copon. And then, why you are you soon a trim? Oh. And they are Holy Spirit and Ankasa and Eden and Nam. In Duke of Fawa, the ye be beer. In ye juma. Yes, it's all called Louis Yanka, or best mahon, Hong Kong, Nam and Aban, on the above Betna, you moon, or near Babetna, or near Babetna. Oh, my betcher, and near my essay, Eden, yea, yea. In the first, and now I am the representative, the Holy Spirit, nom the fret, the Holy Spirit, you know. Manaba, a bay in a juma, no sarco. By a seed or no abba, any a betna, and do you swear a na la lie in your juma? Not that they be out the way, I bomb pie, ba 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 was a stir. Who problem, who issues? A radium who are mobile. Who are mobile, pa. So that is what the uh, Moses was what. Telling the people that the land that you are going, you shouldn't allow any fallen worship to come and stay in that land. Otherwise, your children and your even yourself, you, it will cause them to go and worship these people. Now we have allowed them, the chiefs and the kings in Ghana have allowed these people to set up and that they are causing many believers but to follow this worship, this gods. They're giving them a prayer to stay, and now they are worshiping idols. Hmm. 
they are worshiping idols. Beloved, it's very, very sad that a believer will turn and go and worship an idol. If we turn and go and worship idol, that means you don't know what you are doing. You don't know what you are doing. Do not turn against God and go and worship or idol. Go and worship idol. And the way they are doing it is very, very tricky. It is very, very, very tricky. You cannot what easily identify them. There is no way you can easily identify that this is what a fetish place or this. But sometimes they are teachings and they are, the way they do their things, it tells you correct that these people are not from God. But yes, uh, people are hot, worshiping under them. Avoid the wicked person. The wicked person. They always cause us to what, sin against or our God. That is all that they do. They will try their possible best to let you fall down so that one day, one day, they will laugh at you. Avoid them. The Lord has a purpose for you on this earth. Everybody that came to this earth, when you are coming, the Lord has a purpose for you. So the evil one, when the evil one so, sees that you have this purpose to accomplish on this earth, they try to what? Cause you. They try to cause you to sin against all your God so that the purpose that the Lord brought you to this earth will not be accomplished. I have my purpose, you have your purpose. The Lord has everybody to come here to do certain things that he wants. He, he will be praised. But the evil ones don't want to work. Let this purpose to accomplish. Try to avoid them. Try to avoid them. My last quotation is taken from uh, Paul writing to Corinthians. Paul wrote something to Corinthians in First Corinthians chapter number 5. Chapter number 5, verse number 11. First Corinthians chapter number 5, verse number 11. And what did he say? But now I am writing to you that you must not associate with anyone who claim to be a brother or sister. Some people are claiming that is what they all go, they go to church. They are at church. They, that means that they are pretending, but when they come home, it doesn't show. The way they will speak to you, the way they will insult you, the way they will do a lot of evil practice to you, it tells you certainly that these people are pretending to be a Christian. They are pretending to be a Christian. Um, they are pretending to be your brother, your, your destiny. They come in the proof of a sheep to you. But in their mind, in their, in their heart, they are planning everything for you to fall. We are planning evil things, evil things for you to fall. They are doing all kind of means, they are taking all means to let you all fall down. But a sexually immolar, immolar or greedy, and they are sexually immolar or greedy, and or adulterers, or slandered, or drunkard, or uh, slandered. Do not even eat with such people. I can see so. Um, you don't have to eat with them. You don't have to eat with them. Beloved, not that uh, I'm trying to speak against anybody. But the fact is what I'm, I'm telling you today. 
try to avoid the evil people because they will let you sin against God, their God. This evil people will let you sin against their God. What they are planning is not from God. And if you, if you don't take care, you will fall into their trap and you will sin against your God. You see, the, the, first, the first sentence that I like, but now I am writing to you that you must not associate with anyone who claim, who claim, who are those people? Is it not those who are going to church? Every time you see their farm fine growth going to church, but in their mind, when they come home, later ten, they will be hot. They will they will, they will turn the Bible down and come against you. They are claiming. <laughs> they are hot. They are claiming. They are claiming to know God, but in their mind, that is not is happening there. In their heart, that is not happening there. So please, this is an advice to you. Try to avoid them and get your salvation secure. Try to avoid them and get whatever you, you are asking God, so that whatever you are asking God will go, hard, go through successfully. Avoid them. Get peace of your mind and concentrate on your God. That is what matters. That is what matter. Uh, my last Bible verse will be taken from Proverbs chapter number um, 26. Let me see there if I'm right. Uh, chapter number 26, verse 4. Proverbs. He says that. Uh, do not answer a fool according to his folly, or you yourself will be just like him. What for me? Number three zero one. Who are outsider? Uh, yeah. Plus one three zero one. Uh, four five five nine two five five. For me, I'm going to be in Kasa. I'm going to be in Kenya. Oh, they don't think I'm going to be in Kakra Kakra. No, I'm going to be in Kenya. And see, what's it? I'm going to be in Kenya. Oh, what's it? What's it? What's it? What's it? What's it? What's it? Na wonso anyese or no. Oh. And don't ni pebu on ma the when they are doing certain things they are doing, you think that it is very, very foolish. There is no sense in it. Do not <laughs> do not entertain that in your life. When you see the person speaking, be quiet and go your way. When you see the person talking, be quiet and go your, your way. Keep quiet, keep mute on those people. Otherwise, the word that you say in uh, court, uh, the, when the police is coming to arrest you, you say, keep quiet, anything you say, will be used against you in the court of law. <laughs> Anything you say before the person will turn to fire. And later, it will be used against you yourself. Try to avoid them. So this is what I have for you this morning. This is a piece of advice I have for you. A little advice I have for you is that Avoid the wicked person. 
Christianity doesn't fellowship with what? The wicked person. Try to avoid them. When God comes and you try to avoid all these people, and there is no way God will say you avoid the wicked person. So I'm going to uh, judge you to go to hell. No. You have to try to avoid them because his word is saying it, and not Isaac who is telling you to avoid them. That means that if I tell you to avoid them without the scripture support, I'm saying it from my mind. I'm saying it from my mind. And you have the right word to do whatever you want to do. But here, the scripture is telling us that avoid the wicked people. We read three different versions, three in two English verses, versions. And you get the understanding of all this. Avoid them. Even Paul was saying that not even to eat with them. No. Don't eat with them. Try to find a ways and means to what? avoid these people. Otherwise, they will cause you to sin. See you next time. God bless you. Amen.